if you are not exploring the X window system between Linux machines and Windows and Linux machines, you are missing out. You are missing out. Come and join me and I'll show you what I mean. So here I have my usual machines. If you have subscribed and you have watched my videos, you know what these machines are. They are going to stick with us for the longest time. Like, subscribe and comment because this is, uh, this is, this is our ecosystem ecosystem and your other subscriptions, likes and comments really, really help. And I'm counting on you to keep me company and help this channel grow. I don't know why do I keep doing this with my hand, but I cannot avoid it. So I have here this machine. This machine is, it's a, it's a rocket machine. It's a Reddit based machine and, uh, it has the full uh, X window system ecosystem installed. So it has everything installed <clears throat> in terms of that. And it's the, the X window system. It's obviously up and running. Obviously it's up and running as you can see. And I'm going to open a terminal here. Okay. And what I'm going to, what I'm going to do, it's I'm going to do an SSH, I'm going to do an SSH section. I'm just checking out so my head is not over the terminal. And I'm going to do an SSH section between this, this machine called Rocky 1 to Rocky 2. I don't really remember the um, Rocky 2's IP address, so I'm going to check it out. So it's, I'm going to use the 251. Okay. So I'm going to do SSH. I'm not going to use the, the root user because as you know, if you don't, I'm going to tell you the root user is not allowed to do SSH between machines by default. So I'm going to use my student user and I'm going to do SSH 192. 168.1251. Okay. And I have successfully connected through SSH from Rocky 1 to Rocky 2. Bear in mind that Rocky 2 does not have any X window system up and running. It's fully installed. Okay. So Rocky, Rocky 2 has the full window system installed, the X window system installed. I could put the graphical interface up if I wanted, but it's currently down because it's a server that I don't really don't really need the X window system to be up all, all the time. So it's just down. So in theory, I should be able to run Firefox here, but this Firefox is going to be a Firefox that is running on Rocky 2, not on Rocky 1. Okay. So you, you, we will be able to detect that. It's going to be very clear to us on which machine Firefox is running, but we're going to do this and we should be able to run Firefox that is running on a remote machine. So this Firefox is going to be running on Rocky 2, but the full display, the windows, the window, the graphical window is going to be drawn on Rocky 1. Okay. So Firefox is going to be running on Rocky 2, but the window is going to be shown and drawn on Rocky 1. And you get this error here. So I see many people struggling with this error. It's not really, well, it's an error, but I will consider this more of a warning, but I'm splitting hairs at this point. So no display environment variable is specified. So you could go the, the, the long route or the, the, the short route. And we are in, we are in 2025. So let's use the resources we have ready available, available to us for the last, I don't know, at least 10 years. So you could fight this error and Google for it, but the solution is quite easy. You just close your SSH session and just add the minus capital H here on your SSH session. And now if I do Firefox or bear in mind, I'm using Firefox as, a, as an example, because it's easy for me to show you that this running here, but you can be, you can be, it can be used with any other graphical tool for like get it, for example, but I'll show you next. So Firefox upper stamp. And as you can see, I'm running Firefox, but Firefox is actually running on Rocky 2. So if you check here, come on, if you check this here, it's telling me that it's running on Rocky 2 and not on Rocky 1. So even though I have, I have spawned the process on, on, from Rocky 1, it's running on Rocky 2. So I can see, as I said, it's from Rocky 1 to Rocky 2. I ran a graphical tool on Rocky 2. And the, the graphical tool is it's getting drawn here. So the interface is getting spooled to Rocky 1, but the process in for all intents and purposes, it's running on Rocky 2. It, and this can be run on any, any machine. So I can use, for example, get it, the text editor of GNOME. 
Okay, and this is running on Rocky 2 too. So if I, if I, if I, so if you see here, it's not really that obvious here, but if you look here, get it on Rocky 2. Okay, so this graphical tool is running on Rocky 2 and not on Rocky 1. Rocky 1 is just receiving the drawing of the window. The process itself, or the main parts of the process, it's running on Rocky 2. <clears throat> Sorry, so this is working fine because the graphical interface, the GUI, is fully installed on Rocky 1 and fully installed on Rocky 2. On Rocky 2, it's not running. I'm, I'm running the full the full uh, non-graphical interface. I can I can show you that. But so on Rocky 2, I have I have it installed. I have Firefox and all the other stuff. If you check, if you search my channel, I I show you how to install the graphical interface on the Red Hat based machine, and it's there for your like for your enjoyment. And on Rocky 2, it's installed, but it's not running. It's just there sitting. It's not taking any resources. That main resource is just there in potential. I can potentially launch it and use it uh, on Rocky 2, like I am using, uh, like I am on Rocky 1. Okay. It could be as pretty as Rocky 1, but Rocky 2, I don't need it. It's just a server in, in the corner of the room. So I, I, I have it installed just in case, but it's the graphic interface is not running. It's, it's just there for potentially I need to use it. Now, if I, if I try to do the same that I did with Rocky 2, but in the direction of Rocky of another machine. This is called Linux running Rocky 2. This is a very basic machine. Okay, uh, it's kind of fresh, freshly installed. And this machine has the IP of 2105. So now I'm going to, to, to SSH into it, 2105. Uh, it's not, I need to use a different, a different user because it, doesn't, it's not, it is not students. There we go. Do I remember the password? Yes, I do. So, so I managed, I successfully um, connected from SSH from Rocky One to this new machine. So from Rocky One to this new machine, but this new machine has has a very minimal, very minimal, minimal, minimal install. So this machine does not have any X Windows system or graphical interface tools installed. That's why you get this portaling request failed. Let's try this again without the X. We should see the error going away. If I typed the password correctly, which I did not, we should see the error going away. But um, because I did, I'm not forwarding the X Windows system to Rocky One, not the firewall. If I try to run Firefox here, I don't even have it installed. Okay. So since um, even if I had it, let me try get it. Get it. It's not even running. So even if I have mo, even if I had most tools, I could have Firefox installed. It makes no sense to have Firefox without a graphical interface installed, but bottom line is this server has no X window system binaries, not the utilities, not the system utilities, not the base system, not the needed services. So this machine has nothing about the X window system, the graphical tools. So that's why if I try to connect with it, trying to get some, some X window system stuff going, I cannot because it's not installed there. Okay. So bottom line is I can have Rocky 2 does, does have Rocky 2 does have the, all the X window, X window system binaries installed, all the services, all the needed services and some applications like Firefox or get it. This machine does not, this machine does, does not have any X window system binaries installed as it it's nothing available on that matter. Okay. That's why. I cannot connect from Rocky One to that that this machine here that is very minimal. It does not have anything about the X Windows system, and I cannot forward the X Windows the X Windows Windows the GNOME the Firefox and the gadgets of the of this world back to Rocky One. So Rocky Two does have them. Okay, Rocky Two have has has not a full install, but all the needed binaries to the X Windows system to run successfully and some tools like Firefox, Gadget, and others. So the bottom line is Rocky 2, I can run graphical tools on Rocky 2, like I'm doing here. So let's do Gadget again, just one more time. Gadget, upper stamp. As you can see here, it's running on Rocky 2, even though the window is getting drawn on Rocky 1, okay? So the bottom line is Rocky 2 has all the X Windows interface tools installed. They are not running, as you can see here. 
they are not running they are completely down they're not started they just not, they did they just exist on the hard on the on the disk they were just installed successfully they are potentially that can start them potentially if i want it i don't want them i want to keep rocky 2 as a, a non-graphical interface situation here all right rocky 1 has a full-blown started graphical interface up which means i can connect to ssh using ssh with a minus capital x and all the windows that sh would be drawn on Rocky 2 are getting drawn on Rocky 1. It's a full-fledged Firefox. You can use other graphical tools. It's a full-fledged Firefox, a full-fledged Gadget. It's getting drawn on Rocky 1, but it's running on Rocky 2. It's getting drawn on Rocky 1, but it's running on Rocky 2. But on Rocky 2, I have no, no tools are started. No X Windows ecosystem is started. It's just installed on a hard drive. I could potentially, if I can, if I can start it, if I can start it on Rocky Two like normal, I can then invoke those tools on Rocky One during the Windows. But I don't have to have it fully launched on Rocky Two. This machine here has is just a minimal install. Okay, this machine here has is a minimal install, so it does not have any X Window System binaries installed, nothing of sort. That's why, <clears throat> sorry, when I try to connect to that one machine. Even with the even with the X option, I get this. I get I get that this is telling me that um, I cannot get the windows drawn because that tool that that tool there uh, does not the rock that uh, the machine does not have the X window system binaries installed. So there is no infrastructure for the X window system to be able to interact. I hope you like this. I hope you found this enjoyable and useful. Like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.